Lisa from World Precision Instruments and today Barney and Kelly Boyce are going to demonstrate how to set up an in vivo scientific microscope enclosure that is available from WPI. First, remove all the parts from the boxes and remove all the tape from the acrylic enclosure pieces. The microscope enclosure comes in two halves. The connector plates and screws which are taped to the bottom of one of the chamber halves are used to join the two sides of the enclosure. The connector screws are countersunk so the beveled edge of the connector plates should face the outside when the unit is assembled. Position the square face plate connector over the screw holes on the front face of the left side of the enclosure and install one screw but do not tighten it. Then adjust the stage as needed so that the left side of the chamber can be mounted. It should be centered. Position the left side of the chamber so that the microscope stage electrical connector can be fed through the black slotted port on the back side of the cage. Then gently maneuver the left side of the cage until it slides into place. Let one person hold the left side in the proper position. If desired, you may remove the bottom panels from the right side of the cage to make it easier to assemble. Slide the right side of the cage into place. While you are holding both sides in place, position the front face plate connector and install a screw on the right side. Do not tighten the screws until all the screws are in place. Position the top connector plate and insert the screws. When all the screws are in position, then you can tighten them. It helps to have one person holding the two halves of the chamber together while you tighten all the screws. When it is assembled, the front of the enclosure should sit behind the head of the microscope. The inside face of the back wall should be positioned so that it is flush with the front of the illuminator arm of the microscope. Do not be concerned about any minor gaps where the enclosure meets the microscope because all of the air in the chamber is directed up from the bottom of the enclosure. If you removed them, be sure to reinstall the bottom and the diffusion plates on the right side of the chamber. Then you can install the hoses and other components of your system. For more information on complete systems for live cell imaging, please contact us at 866-606-1974 or visit us online at wpiinc.com 